And this afternoon, Brookfield joined Germantown and Pewaukee in banning lawn watering. Shelley Walcott tells us why people are feeling a little burned by all of this. Shelley. Well, they certainly are, Jake and Carol. You know, people have invested a lot of time, money, and water in their lawns. And now that there's a watering ban in effect, they're feeling like all of their hard work has gone up in smoke. It isn't easy being green. And that's why Germantown resident Joseph Arkenberg has been watering his lawn nearly every day since May. But lawns are an expensive investment. His lush green lawn stands out in this neighborhood of crispy brown grass. And this is how committed the Arkenbergs are to watering. They actually have four different types of sprinklers to make sure their half acre property is covered. But all that watering comes to an end today. Germantown has issued a lawn watering ban. Now Arkenberg worries his lawn will look like everyone else's. I'll feel sad and I'll keep praying. Down the street, Gary Schmaus hung up his hose weeks ago. I guess we just sort of also let nature kind of take over and the grass will come back. And since the ban allows the watering of shrubs, Schmaus's only concern are the grapevines hanging on the gazebos in his backyard. It's sort of our little oasis. Over at Wendland Nursery, their concern is that the watering ban will hurt their bottom line. We're figuring we're going to lose a lot of plants that we put in this year for people or even last year for people that we'll have to replace under warranty now. An unusually hot spring and summer now costing people some cold hard cash. It was unusual from the start in March when it was 80 degrees. And again, Germantown and Brookfield have issued watering bans and other communities are expected to follow suit. On your side live in Brookfield, I'm Shelley Walcott, today's TMJ4. Okay, Shelley, thank you very much.